Hello, my name is Liz Gatt, and I am excited to bring to you another Microsoft 365 tutorial. Today is all about Power Automate. So if you know me, you know that any type of automation that I can pull in, I am a fan. And that's where Power Automate comes into play. It is part of the Microsoft 365 apps. So it's one that comes included inside of the enterprise level uh, subscriptions. And that's what I'm going to be using today. So what Power Automate helps you to do is create flows and those flows can be online, they can be desktop, but they can automate certain processes. For example, maybe you have some uh, Teams channels and if somebody has a meeting and you want to be notified in that team channel or you want to notify um, that there's been documents dropped, you know, there's several different flows that you can create in order to share messages, upload documents, um, have different systems talk back and forth to each other. But when you are creating these different flows, that's where Copilot can come into play because now Copilot can assist you with developing those automation flows. So I'm going to take you first over to the Power Automate homepage, and then I'll take you next into the flow that we're going to be creating today. That's all going to be about email replies. So in my world, emails is my pain point. I want to create a automated flow so that way when new emails come in from with using a specific subject line, then I'm going to have an auto reply that's going to go out and we're going to set that up in Power Automate. Here we go. All right. So this is the home screen of Power Automate and you can see there's a lot of different templates that I can say. So every month, copy files on a OneDrive to another OneDrive folder. So there's lots of things that you can do here several different templates to choose from. When you're looking at these templates, you can see email. That's where we're going to stay today and calendars. Now what I'm going to do is take you into the flow that I've created. That way I can walk you through step by step how you can create this flow or something very similar to it in your environment. All right, so here we are. This is a very simple flow. It's got two steps. You can see that we've got um, these two steps that are outlined, I'm going to open those up so that way we can walk through those together. One of the other things I'm going to point out is Copilot exists over here in our drawer. So we've gotten used to Copilot living over on this side panel, and this is where we could actually ask questions if we get stuck. So in some of these steps in this flow, I need to have advanced settings. So these parameters that are advanced, if I was having a hard time with the step by steps, I could actually ask Copilot to help me through some of those sticky points in order to connect my flow so that way I can move to the next step. So if you see here, I'm going to go ahead and show all of my parameters. Um, this is going to say when a new email comes in with a subject filter. And here again, this is um, specific to my industry. We work with QuickBooks. So when a um, subject filter with QuickBooks Find a Pro Advisory directory comes in, and that's going to be the subject line. Here, I want to have an auto reply that goes out. So I could even add in some additional team members if I wanted to tag them so that way they know that we've got some new potential work that's coming um, into the company. Okay, so here is the second part of our flow. In this step two, I can go ahead and say I want to open up all of these parameters so that way I can expand what I'm looking at. My message ID. So one of the things I want to do here is to make sure whoever it is that's sending me that email, this is who I want that message to go back to. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep that subject line, but just add the response so that way they know it's coming back to them. The body of the message here, I can actually, again, use Copilot and maybe put in some specifics that are unique to our business. I wanted to put in our calendar link. Here's additional services that the client may not be aware of that we offer. And then I can even add in if there should be additional people that should be tagged in these replies. And then make sure that it says reply all. So we've got that piece here. Now, if I was stuck at any point, again, I can come back over into Copilot and I can ask my questions. But the next thing I can do if I'm happy with my flow is say save. And then I'm going to do a flow checker. This is going to look to see if I've got any errors. If I do, I actually have a really nice co-pilot message that comes back and it tells me, here's how you can fix your errors. So uh, if you get stuck, 
It will give you some guidance articles. I don't see that it's giving a really nice step-by-step -step on how to fix it yet. So you still have to do a little bit of digesting what are some of the errors in that flow. But again, when you create these kinds of flows, especially these email replies, again, you could copy them. You could make new ones in order to be able to use different subject lines or from different senders. So that way you could have these types of replies that go out. And then you can even do a test of your flow. This is going to, I'm going to say manually test that flow. This is going to check to see, do I have any um, incoming or outgoing errors that this flow wouldn't work? The next thing after that comes back and it gives me a clear on my test is to actually go out and test it in real life. So while that's loading, I'll show you. Here is that site that I was talking about earlier, the Spina Pro Advisor. So I pulled that up and I said, here's my test right now. Go ahead and send that message. So now I can see that message in my inbox and show you what that looks like. All right, so we have our test and our test email came in and then I can also now see my reply that went out. So this is gonna say, you know, thank you for reaching out. Make sure to schedule with our calendar link. Here's additional services. And now I know that my entire team doesn't have to worry about whether or not we are staying up to date with our replies for all of those incoming leads. You can use this type of flow in order to tag any subject line. You can use this type of flow in order to replicate if you've got um, particular senders that you want to flag for if they have messages that are coming in. Maybe you just want to say a simple um, thank you, got it, you know, whether or not you're looking for those kinds of potential leads or it's just making sure that they know that you're aware that they've sent an email. I would check out these kinds of Power Automate flows as well as tons of other ones that are templated and then also pull in Copilot in order to help you tweak how that flow is working and then any type of messages that you want to put in the body of text, use Copilot in order to create that messaging for you. So how do I rate this one? I would say anytime that I can add some automation, I'm going to give it a 10. As far as where Copilot comes into play, it does a better job of creating the body message. I didn't find that it did a great job with troubleshooting. What I did find that it understood some of the areas that maybe my flow was struggling and it gave me some help articles. So that part of Copilot, I feel like there's still some pieces when you're creating these automations that you have to understand the logic. So test them, I think is really the best method, but it is nice that Copilot's there to at least give you some help articles when you're stumbling along the way. I have enjoyed this particular uh, lesson because it is fantastic anytime that I can save, shave off time. Uh, so I look forward to more tips. Make sure that you are subscribing. Make sure that you are staying tuned for many more topics and videos to come. See you soon.